Hello everyone and welcome to Miss Sprinkles Delights. And on today I'll be showing you how to make an air fried somewhat vegan meal. It's jackfruit pulled pork with a cilantro lime coleslaw with a side of curly fries and onion rings. So let's get started. Here's all my ingredients. Um, if you don't know anything about jackfruit, jackfruit is a meat substitute. And when you buy it in the can, it needs to be in a brine, not the syrup. Um, to me, it really did not have a taste. And this was the first time I had actually tried it. I was, you know, intrigued by it because I've seen it on different Pinterest um, posts and stuff. But it has these big seeds in it, in the wedges, and you need to take those out. You necessarily don't have to from all the posts that I have read, but um, it cuts down the cooking time if you take them out. So just took it out of the wedges. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil and I'm using my Cook Essentials multi cooker to start this process so that the jackfruit can cook down. So to that oil, olive oil, I'm just gonna add some um, sliced onions. Now jackfruit does not have a taste to me, but it takes on the taste of whatever you season or cook it with or sauce it up with, just like tofu does. Um, so this is a good meat substitute. By no means am I promoting me being vegan because I am not vegan but just to be able to no meat for a day a week or so i may do that because i really did like this um so there are cores of the jackfruit um some posts said that you could leave it you just have to cook the jackfruit longer um and then most posts said just to take the cores off so i this time i just chose to just take the cores off because I didn't want to make my video any longer than I had to. So um, I just took them off. And you can feel the core because it is a little bit um, harder than the upper parts of the jackfruit itself. And I got this jackfruit in the can at um, Trader Joe's. Um, Whole Foods has it, but they were sold out. Um, so I had to go to Trader Joe's to get it. Um, and as you can tell here, you see how fleshy it resembles like shredded chicken um shredded pork shredded beef or whatever um so now we're just gonna saute those onions down so they become a little bit translucent and then we're gonna add that jackfruit um to the onions i'm just gonna put them in whole for now because once it's cooked down it's gonna become tender and it's going to be to the point where you can shred it with um, two forks or a potato. Some people use a potato masher. Um, it was just easier for me to use the two forks or just to take a single fork and press it down and it does start to shred. So I'm going to put in um, some minced garlic. And that is two teaspoons. And just mix that around being sure not to burn your garlic because you know garlic will burn very fast now I'm gonna start adding my seasonings I did a teaspoon of adobo teaspoon of garlic powder a teaspoon of turmeric now remember guys I did say jackfruit has no flavor so if you don't season it and make it flavorful it will have no taste whatsoever so the cumin and we just did a couple shakes of that and I probably ended up putting like maybe a um, half a teaspoon of the cumin So you have to season it. If I was doing pulled pork, pulled pork, I would do the same exact seasonings. So I'm just gonna do exactly what I would normally do so that it resembles what I'm trying to get to. So um, I use smoked paprika this time instead of regular paprika because it does have a little smoky hint to it. 
and I did um, two teaspoons of the smoked paprika. And you just stir those flavors around. And I'm going to put in one tablespoon of light brown sugar. You can use dark brown sugar. Now those seasonings, you can take away what I used, add more, add less, whatever you choose to do. It's all about what your taste buds say to you. Um, this is a browning seasoning sauce. And I just did um, a half a teaspoon of that browning sauce. And you guys know the Worcestershire sauce. And I did um, two teaspoons of that sauce. Now here's the good stuff, liquid smoke. Um, I put liquid smoke in anything that I want, a grilly smoky flavor. So um, I did a tablespoon of liquid smoke. And you just stir everything together. Now the longer you cook your jackfruit, the um, more tender it's gonna be. And it's not so much that it's not tender, it's just that it needs to cook down so that it can be able to shred the way that you want it to instead of you having these hard pieces. So here I'm adding a cup of beef broth, which you could use vegetable broth if you want to. I use beef because that was what I had on hand. And it's just to um, get my flavors going, that's all. And that the jackfruit can have a liquid to cook in until it absorbs all of the liquid. So as you can tell, this is is getting there and it is um, to the point where I can shred it um, but I wanted to cook it just a little bit longer and see and it's starting to shred just like shredded beef or shredded pork whichever one you choose So I actually did let that simmer in my Cook Essentials multi-cooker. I let it simmer for 30 minutes in that sauce. Now as you can tell, it has absorbed all of that um, beef broth that I put in there. So now we're gonna move it to the air fryer because it needs to actually dry out before I add my barbecue sauce to it. So I wanted to finish it off in the air fryer so we can give it a little bit of a crispy edge as well. But, um, I also wanted it to dry out a little faster, so I put it into my um, air fryer. And as you can tell, you can take the fork and you can actually, you don't have to pull it apart with the forks, but you can smash it with the fork and it does the same exact thing. So now I'm going to cover this with the um, vented grilling foil, um, which has the holes in it, which is gonna keep it from burning, but it's also gonna steam it so that it can dry out. So we're just going to cover with the vented um, aluminum foil. And we're just going to put it into the air fryer. Now 
I did it at 380 for 10 minutes. Okay guys, it's done. Now remember your pot is hot, so make sure you're equipped for that. And there you have it, air fried jackfruit, quote unquote, pulled pork barbecue. And now I'm actually going to um, add my barbecue sauce. My barbecue sauce is um, ketchup, molasses, um, Frank's hot sauce, um, Worcestershire sauce, brown sugar, and rice wine vinegar. And you just mix as much as you want for your for your um pulled, for your jackfruit or your pulled pork as I'm gonna call it. Um, you just use as much or as less as you like, um, and to your tasting. And there you have it, guys. Jackfruit pulled pork. And we did some fries in the air fry as well. Um, I did RB's curly fries and just some regular um, straight cut fries. I like mine spray with oil. It's not necessary, but that's what I like to do. And I'm going to use the preset fry button, which is 400 for 12 minutes. And here is my cilantro lime coleslaw. Now this is just bad coleslaw mix. I used mayo, rice wine vinegar cilantro, um, juice of one lime, and a little bit of sugar, salt, and pepper. That's it. And here's our fries. They're done. And here you have it, guys. Halfway vegan meal. Jackfruit pulled pork barbecue sandwiches with cilantro lime coleslaw fries. And as always, thanks, guys, for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.